You think the graphics on your Oculus Rift CV1 are amazing? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how to boost the resolution even higher. You've got your Oculus Rift CV1 all set up and you're checking out all the great games and content. But did you know that there's a way to increase the graphic rendering of your Rift CV1 with one simple step? I'm going to show you how to use the Oculus Debug tool to boost your Rift's graphics. Now I highly recommend that you watch this entire video so you gain a full understanding of the risks and rewards of using the debug tool. First let's get the Oculus debug tool on your PC. Go to the link in the description and download the Oculus SDK for Windows. Then extract all the files and look for the Oculus debug tool in the tools folder. I suggest moving it to your desktop so it's readily available for whenever you want to use your Oculus Rift. Now here's a process you'll need to go through each time you start up your Rift. First, close all apps and games, then start Oculus Home. Next, start up the Oculus Debug tool before starting any games. Now be careful because the only parameter you're going to change is the pixel per display pixel override. If you mess with anything else without knowing what you're doing, you could cause major issues with your Rift setup, so be careful. Also, this change must be done before you start any Oculus Home games or Steam VR. Let me explain how this works. The number in this field represents a percentage, 1 equaling 100%. At initial startup, your Rift is set to 100% pixels per display, so if you change this from a 0 to 1, there will be no change to how the Rift performs. However, if you change this setting to 1.1, you have now increased pixels per display to 110%. You can set this parameter to any decimal from 1 to 2, with the setting of 2 being 200%, which would double the pixels per display of your Rift. Now this next part is very important. The game you're playing and your PC, CPU, graphics card, and memory need to be considered when increasing pixels per display. It's best to start at a lower setting like 1.1 and work your way up to an optimal setting. For example, my system with an i7-6700 CPU and EVGA 1070 SC GPU with 16 gig of RAM, I normally boost this up to 1.5 for games with a lot of movement and action like Dead and Buried, but for apps with less movement like Medium and VTime, I might go to 1.7 or 170%. When increasing this setting, you need to be mindful to keep your frame rates at 90 frames per second. It would be a bad idea to boost this parameter to a 2 when running a lower power GPU. The GPU would probably heat up fast and your frame rates would suffer causing a bad VR experience. Starting at a lower setting like 1.1 and moving up gradually is the best approach. One last thing. Once you change the number and hit enter, the change is set. Just keep the debug tool running while using your Rift. And that's how you boost your Oculus Rift's graphic resolution. Let us know in the comments how this worked for you and be sure to share this video with other Rift users so they can benefit from it as well. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and join the discussion in the comments below. Check out our other VR videos and join the community by subscribing to VR Vibe for more virtual reality exploration.